this kind of heat, uh, we don't take the health of our scouts and the adults lightly. A week of Boy Scout summer camp means a solid seven days spent outdoors with very little shelter from the sweltering heat and sizzling temperature. We had one boy that came in this morning. Um, he had drank only about a half a cup of water. By 11 o'clock, he was already feeling the heat badly, feeling ex heat exhaustion, sweating a lot, lethargic. It's situations like this that Gryla Camp Director Larry Solz tries to avoid at all costs. And to protect his campers, he's constantly preaching. The key to beating extreme heat is hydration. During the program times, uh, when we see him on the trail walking in between areas, uh, we're always pushing water. In weather like this, you've got to drink a quart an hour because you're going to lose it constantly. Filling up water bottles and quenching the thirst may be the top priorities on a day like this. But these energetic Boy Scouts are still determined to pack in all of the summer camp activities they love. But Sol says a few of the more strenuous programs, like Human Foosball, were canceled, and other stations had time limits. The climbing tower, um, they'll be out on that, um, and we still use that, but uh, they're not up there that long, and as soon as they get back down, um, they're drinking. Shotgun range the same way. Surviving the daytime heat was a challenge in itself, and unfortunately the night hours aren't providing much relief for these young boys. To help, the camp strategically placed the scouts' tents under heavily shaded areas. Most of them will have their flaps front and back wide open. It's important that uh, there's a lot of air circulation in those tents uh, so that they don't get overheated while they're trying to sleep.